All right, hi. I quickly want to demonstrate the IKFK switch and its features. Um, it's universal, which means but for any rig, I have here three free rigs. Um, this here was created with advanced skeleton. Uh, in the middle we have uh, it's a great rig from uh, Anim School, uh, Malcolm, and then this is uh, Stuart from Animation Mentor. Um, anyway, a lot of rigs have IKFK switch set up, but a lot of them don't, and this one will work with any of those. In uh, it lets you swap, uh, match it, and also bake to certain ranges if you have the pro version. Um, in order to set it up, we first need to run it. That's right. So it requires a couple of steps in order to make every rig has different control names. So. First, we need to set it up and define all the controls which the FK and IK uses. Um, let's do it on the uh, advanced skeleton. I think a lot of people use that. Um, we store it once and then it stores it in the nodes, and we can reuse it as many times as we want. In the pro version, you can even like export and import it to any of your animation scenes. Um, all right, we can load from selection. First, we have to send uh, which limb, right arm here. As you can see, um, start by defining the FK control. So FK upper limb, we just select it, basically and hit the button. It's pretty quick to do. Um, and you to do it once, spend 10 minutes, do it, be done with it, have fun. Um, next we have to define the IK. So we turn, switch to, turn to IK to actually see the IK list. Pole vector. We have to find, um, yeah, we have to find, sorry guys, the switch control, which is the control that actually has the switch on it. And here it's FK, IK arm. And then we have to find the attribute, we just highlight it here and plug it in. A uh, few more things. Attribute 0 is IK or FK. In this case, it's, uh, it's FK, IK. If we set it to 0, it means we are FK, so yeah, it's correct. The range is different for every week too. I think on this guy it's actually 10. Yeah, it is 10. You see like what's the value. So we have to check this. And all we have to do now is hit save. Successfully saved. And you can see in your outliner. I saw this note here. I can store well, which is all the information we need. So now we are ready. So let's Pose this like beautiful arm. Let's say he reaches up. I'm not gonna do an animation, good animation job here, just like simple. Um, what if the next frame, let's say we animate and we key it. Now I wanna switch to FK. We down here with match and switch section. We hit load store node, and as soon as it's found, the store node, it knows we just saved it. It's in the scene. We get a store node found. So what we can do now, we can just switch between IK and FK. Oh, not lining up, because IK is in the default pose. Um, switch in FK, now we can click match FK to IK. We hit this, you see, bing. So now we have FK matching, we switch now, line up perfectly. Uh, you can also select here, all IK, FK. Um, the pro version show is really cool, so it's just to bake a whole range. Let's say I'm animating here. So the keyframe. So the keyframe. Oftentimes you like you animate an IK because it's quicker. But then you realize once you're doing overlap, it's really hard to do in IK, so you wanna bake it onto FK. Oh my god, this is horrible animation. Let's <laughs> say yeah. Why is the pull back this so bad? Okay. I guess I could just switch it, okay. This is my my beautiful my god, beautiful animation. Okay, draw his hand. Ooh. So now I wanna bake this to IK. So I need to do it. It's already loaded. I have to I can bake IK to FK. I click this, it will give me a confirm dialog. Make sure your range is not too long. Uh one, two, one twenty. Oh, it's kind of too long. Let's set it to Let's see. It's gonna be quick, but anyway. Uh, okay, to FK. Yes. 
we go through and you see it as it bakes. I think now I have 34 my animation starts, but you will see I will try to match the IK. You sometimes want to hide everything, it makes the picking faster. You basically have to like figure out the interpolation for every every keyframe. Alright, so now I can scrub through it. And I have the same animation and every time I can just switch and I see them lining up. Alright, um, that's it. Yeah, you can here like, export and import your store node in the pro version. And I could do the same now for the leg or for, for um, another character. But it's basically the same thing. You select your controls. You can clear this like upper, lower FK, and then you basically, it's pretty quick. You switch um, with the blend. Um, yeah, that's one time. But that's basically it. You plug it in, you save it, and have fun with it next time. It's quicker to use. Alright, hit me up if you have any questions or uh, feature requests. I hope you enjoyed it too. Have fun animating.